Alright. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash, and double honor to the elders of Apostles, GMS who rule well. Salute you, brothers, that's pushing this truth in the stretch of power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, right? We out here, we out here to gather the elect out of the Negro Latinos and Native Americans, which consists of the uh, Israelites. The true biblical Hebrew Israelites are the Negro Latinos and Native Americans, and we out here to gather up the elect. And then you had an Edomite, you had an Edomite up here, uh, Edomite up here, sitting in the car. See, these Edomites come up here, man, while we out here, they are sitting in the car, snap pictures, man. I just flip them the bird, man. I just let them have it, man. You know what I'm saying? Esau, Esau ain't got nothing else to do but to snap pictures. So Lord willing, he got me in there flip, uh, giving them the bird, man. <laughs> they can't debate the scriptures or do nothing, man. They, they can't do nothing, man, but just snap pictures. So I let, it have, I let them have it with the bird, man. But we're going to start off in Luke, right? And we are here to prophesy the downfall of America, man, the destruction of America, man. You know, these devils, these devils, cannot handle the Negro Latinos and Native Americans on these streets teaching this word, man. It's, it's, it's vexing to them, it's irritating to them, man, and they get nervous, man, okay? That's all they can do is snap pictures, man. That's it, they can't debate the scriptures, they can't do nothing, man, okay? But we'll drive by, post up, and snap pictures, man, okay? But what I want to start off with is Luke, the 16th chapter, and we finna go in, okay? But go ahead, bro. All right, this is uh, this is Luke chapter 16, verse 1. And he said also unto his disciples, There was a certain rich man which had a steward. And the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. Verse 2. And he called him and said unto him, How is it that I hear that I hear this of thee, question, give an account of thy stewardship, mm -hmm. for thou mayest be no longer steward. Verse 3, then the steward said with, with, within himself, what should I do, mm -hmm. question, for my Lord taketh away from me the stewardship. I cannot dig mm -hmm. to beg, I am ashamed. Uh-huh, go ahead. Verse 4, I am resolved what to do, that when I that when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me unto their houses. Verse 5, so he called every one of his lords, debtors, unto him, and said unto, and said unto the first, How much owest thou unto my lord? And he said, a hundred measures of oil. And he said unto him, Take thy bill, and sit down quickly, and write fifty. Mm -hmm. Then said he to another, And how much owest thou? Question. And he said, An hundred measures of wheat. Mm -hmm. And he said unto him, Take thy bill, and write four score. Mm -hmm. Verse 8. And the Lord Com commanded mm -hmm. the unjust steward mm -hmm. because he had done wisely for the children of this world are in their trend for for the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light alright now go back up to the top we're going to start from the top this is Luke chapter 16 verse 1 right and he said also unto his disciples now he's speaking to his disciples now you got to remember his disciples around and you got the pharisees around okay you got the disciples and you got the pharisees around so you got people around him but he's talking to his disciples and what it is is people three people are ear hustling okay they listening to the conversation okay so go ahead there was a certain rich man. There was a certain rich man, someone. Okay, when you look up that word certain, it means someone. So Yahweh Shai is finna start talking slang talk. Okay? Parables. 
That's what he finna do. Talking slang, talking power. That's what he doing. Slang talk today. Okay, go ahead. Which had a steward. Yeah, which had a steward, right? And the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. Yeah, so in other words, he was accused. Now we're gonna look up that word accused. Okay? In the blue letter. So we're gonna see what that means, right? So, like I was saying, Yahweh Shai is talking slang talk. But when you're reading the Bible, it's known as parables. Okay? But today we call it uh, uh, slang talk. So just for Jake to understand, slang talk. So the Bible used slang talk. So he was accused, right? And that's the Greek word. Diabolo. Diabolo is Strong's Greek 1225, right? And it means to throw over or across to send over. Uh, this, now what I want out of there is slander. So we going we gon' snatch out the word. The key word there is a uh, slander. So he was accused, meaning uh, he was lied upon or slander. Okay, so go ahead. That's the key word I want out of there. Sometimes you can read all them different definitions and read all them words, but I just like to go straight to the point. Okay. So go ahead. All right. Uh, this is verse two, and he called him. And said unto him, How is it that I hear this of thee? Mm -hmm. Question. Give an account of thy steward stewardship. Now go back up to where it says uh, accused. Okay, it's like okay. this is uh, Luke chapter 16, verse 1. And he said unto and he said also unto his disciples, Right. There was a certain rich man which had a steward, mm -hmm. and the same was accused unto him. The accused, slandered, lied about. Okay, go ahead. Accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. That he had wasted his goods, which that rich man had resources. Okay? And the steward was in control of them resources. Okay? Go ahead. And he called him and said unto him, How is that I hear this of thee? Question. Mm -hmm. Give an account of thy steward stewardship for thou mayest be no longer steward. So, there's certain rich man, when you look it up certain, it means anybody or anyone, that certain rich man was finna take him, that steward, away from controlling his resources, his substance, okay? So he was finna take him out of power from controlling the resources, okay? That rich man, okay? So go ahead. Verse three. Then the steward said within himself, What should I do? Mm -hmm. Question. For my Lord taketh away from me the stewardship. So he's taken away from that stewardship, that overseeing of his resources. Go ahead. I cannot dig. When you look up that word dig, when you dig, when you dig in something, okay, when you dig in something, uh, uh, what, it, what it does is it becomes hollow. So, what he's saying is, I cannot dig, meaning I cannot be emptied out or hollow. I ain't got nothing. So if you look it up in the blue letter, it's just going to straight say dig. But you got to go to the strong Court. And what I did was, went to the strong Court, and you can see the definition right now. It's up now. Okay. So go ahead, bro. It says, uh... So that dig, that word dig means hollow. Okay, go ahead. To beg, I am ashamed. Yeah, so... If he's emptied out or hollowed out, then he gonna end up poor and he gonna end up begging. So he don't want to do that. Okay? So that's what they're saying. He don't want to do that. Okay? So go ahead. I am resolved what to do. I am resolved what to do. So what shall I do when I get out of this stewardship? Because the people that's in debt, they import, they poor. Okay? They poor. So what's gonna happen is that steward is gonna become like them because he's gonna lose what he got. He ain't even been he ain't finna be in the stewardship no more. Okay? Go ahead. I am resolved what to do that when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. Okay. The Leviticus 25, right? 
I'm going to read this so you can get an understanding, right? Going into the law. Leviticus 25 and uh, I'm going to read uh, 30 uh, I'm going to uh, read 36. Take this Leviticus 25 and 36. Take thou no usury, okay, that's interest, of him or increase, but fear thy power that thy brother may live with thee. So read that again right there. This is uh, Luke chapter 16, verse 4. I am resolved what to do that when I am put out of the stewardship, they may they may receive me into their houses. So when you go into the law, it says, I read it again, Leviticus 25 and 36. Take thou no usury, meaning taxes, okay? Don't tax them, meaning the Israelites, of him or increase, but fear thy power that thy brother may live with thee. Verse 37. Thou shalt not give him thy money upon usury, nor lend him thy victual for increase. So you're not supposed to tax Israel. Okay? You're not supposed to uh, uh, cause interest to go up on Israel. Okay? So read that again. This is a uh, loop. Chapter 6, verse 4. I am resolved what to do, mm -hmm. that when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. So, going over to Leviticus, 25th chapter in the law, it said, if you don't put in, don't don't put interest on them, and then you may live with your brother. Okay? So, let's see what the steward finna do. Go ahead, bro. Verse 5. So he called every one of his of his lords mm -hmm. debtors unto him mm -hmm. and said unto and said unto the first how much oweth thou unto my lord how Question. much yeah how much okay now let's see what this steward finna do let's see if he thought upon the uh the oath the covenant of y'all by some shot let's see if he searched the scripture okay because in the scripture in Leviticus 25 and 30, 36 on down, he said, look, don't charge usually. Don't tax Israel. Okay? And then you may live with your brother when you become poor. Okay? So go ahead. Verse 6. And he said, in hundred measures of oil. And he said unto him, take thy bill and sit down quickly and write 50. Boom! He cut it in half. You owed a hundred? Give me 50. Boom, he cut it in half. Did he show his brother mercy? Done. Showed his brother mercy. That's what it is. Go ahead. Verse 7. Then said he another, And how much owest thou? Question. And he said, An hundred measures of wheat. And he said unto, the, unto him, Take thy bill and write four score. And write four score. He said he, he had how much of wheat? He said hundred. So four score is 80. Okay? Four score is 80. So that wheat, that wheat and that barley and that oil is what? Resources. So the man was rich. So what he did was, that steward was, he didn't put interest. He showed mercy and cut it in half. Okay? That he might live with his brother. Let me go back over in Leviticus 25 and 36. Take thou no usury of him or increase but fear thy power that thy brother may live with thee verse 37 thou shalt not give him thy money upon usury nor lend him thy victuals for increase okay so you're not supposed to tax him so the brother did the steward did he cut it in half he showed mercy okay he did what he was supposed to do according to the scripture, according to the law, okay? So he showed mercy unto his brother, okay? Go ahead. So verse 8, And the Lord commanded 
Read it again. Read it again slow. Okay, this is uh, Luke chapter 16, verse 8. And the Lord commended the unjust steward because he had done wisely. Now, let's look up that word commend. Let's see what the word commended means. So you got to remember, the, the, the steward was an overseer of the rich man resources. Now here it is, the Lord had commended him. Now, it's key to look up words when you're reading this Bible, okay? Uh, looking up words is our lifeline, okay? And that helps... Uh, helps uh, bring the scriptures more to life and understanding, man. Because that's what it's all about, getting understanding to where you can teach Israel the truth. Okay? That's what you got to do. You got to look at words. Okay? You just can't make stuff up. And it's key looking at words. So the Lord commended the unjust steward. Now when you look up the word commended, right? Which Jake don't do, look up words. In Pineo, in Pineo, so that's strong, strong, uh, strong Greek, 1867, in Pineo, and it means to, uh, it means to approve, it means to approve, to praise. So, when you look that word up, uh, Pineo, in the Greek, and in the English, is commended. It means to approve, and it means to pray. So read that scripture again. This is Luke chapter 16, verse 8. And the Lord commended. Okay, so he commended, he praised the steward for what? Not put interest on that, uh, on the resource. Okay? Not putting interest on the resource. Okay? For his brother. Okay? So where is it located at? Not putting interest in Leviticus 25 and 36 on down. Right? Go ahead. The unjust steward, because he had done wisely, mm -hmm. for the children of this world are in then in, are in their generations wiser than the children of light. So read that again. This is a uh, Luke chapter 16, verse 8. And the Lord commended the unjust steward because he had done wisely for the children of this world are in the are in their generation wiser than the children of light now these are secrets okay now when you look up that word when you look up now when you read this bible it got punctuation it got question marks and right there it has a colon okay it has a colon now let's get the definition of uh, a colon, okay? Now, the definition of a colon, a colon, a colon, instead of a semicolon, may be used between independent clauses with the second sentence. Explaining illustrates, per, per, uh, paraphrases, paraphrases, or explain, or, or, expands on the first sentence so when you look read read the scripture a semicolon is expanding on the first sentence okay so it's continuing on it got an example here we just went to regular google and we uh uh typed in what is the what is the purpose of a of a colon and that's what came up and it says example he got what he worked for, okay, and he got colon. He really earned the, that promotion. So it's talking about uh, the sentence before that, and I'll read that again. It said a colon, instead of a semicolon, may be used between independent clauses when the second sentence explains, illustrates, paraphrases, or expands on the first sentence. Example. He got what he worked for, colon. 
he really earned that promotion. Okay? So we understand what a colon is, right? So read that scripture again. This is Luke chapter 16, verse 8. And the make Lord. Sure you, make sure when you read it, make sure you announce uh, the colon. When what a colon is that? Alright, this is uh this is Luke chapter 16, verse 8. And the Lord commanded the unjust steward because he had done wisely, colon, for the children. Oh, he said because he had done wisely, colon. He commended. Okay? So he he uh he uh uh prayed the unjust steward. Okay? And then read on. Make sure you mention the colon again. I know I am. Uh, this is uh, Luke chapter 16, verse 8. And the Lord commended the unjust steward. Praise because, him. Praise him. Right? Go ahead. Because he had done wisely. Because he had done wisely. Right? It's a colon. And there's a colon. Right after wisely. Right? right. So, what else is going to come next is talking about how the Lord praised the unjust steward. Okay? That's the purpose of the colon there. Go ahead. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. So, what that's talking about is the steward that the Lord prayed. Okay? That's why I got a colon there. Okay? And the children of the light are Israelites. Okay? Back then, back then, the scribes and the Pharisees had sold out to the Roman Empire. Okay? And what they were doing was oppressing their, their brethren. Okay, because they had sold out, man. Okay, and what the Lord was doing was he was talking to his disciples and he was cutting uh, the scribes and Pharisees, okay, about how they was oppressing their people with money, okay, charging them usury, okay, interest, okay. Go ahead. Verse 9, and I say unto you. Hold on, hold on, go back. It said, read that again about the children of this world. Uh, this is Luke chapter 16, verse 8. And the Lord commanded the unjust steward praised him, right? because he had done wisely, there's a colon, right. for the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. Okay, hold on. Let me let me catch something here. This, uh, to prove my point, this Luke, this Luke 20 and 30... 34. And Yahweh answered and said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given into marriage. Who are they being married? Yahweh That's that's uh Yahweh Shah. Because that's our husband, right? Going to uh let me get uh to prove my point. This turn my so this is slang talk, right? See? But the Bible used slang talk. In other words, parable. This Jeremiah 6. This Jeremiah 6 and uh, 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. So the nation of Israel to the Most High and His Son is like a woman. Okay? So going back over here to Luke, this Luke 20 and 34, and Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, the children of this world marry and are given in marriage. So they've been joined to Yahweh Shah. Why? It's because he praised that, he praised, he commended, he praised that steward because it, he was showing mercy to his brother. Okay? So by him being showing mercy to his brethren, he was being uh, married to Yahweh Shemesh through the covenant, having faith. So you, that steward went to the scriptures and he found out, look, I'm not supposed to be charged with anything, so let me cut it in half. Boom. Okay? So going back over there to uh, 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 Luke, the eighth, the eighth verse, and I got another one. This Ephesians 5, Ephesians 5 and uh, Matter of fact, read that again. This is uh, Luke chapter 16, verse 8. And the Lord commended the unjust steward. And he praised him. Because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser 
than the children of light. Because the Israelites are the children of the light. Let me get to Ephesians 5 and uh, Ephesians 5 and uh, 8. For ye were sometimes in this Ephesians 5 and 8. For ye were sometimes dark darkness, but now ye ye light in the Lord. I mean, it's like this Ephesians 5 and uh, 8. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Woke as the children of the light. So who are the children of the light? Israelites. Okay? Children of the light are Israelites. So read that again. This is Luke chapter 16 verse 8. And the Lord commanded, commanded the unjust steward because he had done wisely for the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. The reason why I'm saying that, like I was saying, uh, the scribes and Pharisees, they was they had they had sold out, man. They was concerned about money and oppressing Israel. Okay? They had sold out. But the steward who was showing mercy, okay, to Israel, okay. Yahweh Shai commanded him. He praised him. He commanded him. He praised him. And he was saying, look, the children of this world are wiser than the children of the light. Why was he saying that? Because the children of the light were going to be joined to, uh, to Yahweh Shai, okay, through faith. And they were going to follow him according to the scripture, okay? That's why he was saying that, okay? Go ahead. Verse 9, and I say unto you, Make the make to yourselves friends of the mammon. Okay, it said make to yourself friends of the mammon. And look up mammon. That's who a mammon means in the Greek. He said make to yourself friends of the mammon. Okay. Now we're gonna find out what mammon is. Which I know what it is, it's money, but I want it to come out. Oh, it's cool. Take your time, bro. Alright, that's how that's how it is, man. When you out here uh dealing. Things happen like the phone might shut off, but I got one. You know what I'm saying? It might freeze up, you know. But we looked up the word mammon, right? Mamunas, right? And that's for the word mammon, right? And it's strong 3126. And mammon, treasure, riches. Okay? So it's riches. That's what that's what mammon deals with. Rich, resources. Okay? So read that again. This is Luke chapter 16, verse 9. And I say unto you, make to yourselves friends of the mammon. Riches? Go ahead. Of unrighteousness, unrighteousness, 